I think it was a, probably a necessary evil, just given the last kind of uprising. Um, the part I didn't like was that it coincided with a new law being promulgated that certain prisoners are eligible for early release and that he suitably fell into that category. And I think that kind of just taints the law in terms of stating that clearly we're not all equal under the law. And uh, that's probably the main objection that I have. We have a corrupt government. Jacob Zuma is corrupt. Uh, 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 I, I don't see uh, any good in, 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 in letting that guy free. You see, he must, he must, he must sit like any other criminal. If, uh, when you want to speak about somebody, you always compare somebody to other people. So I would like to talk about the Zuma when I can see, I can say about um, the Sarah Ramaphosa, what he's doing today. So to me, the, uh, Zuma was a really a good president than uh, Sarah Ramaphosa. So, because we never have such a problem like we're having today. So I don't know if he did steal or what did he do, but to me it was okay for Zuma to be out according to his age. I don't agree with it. If they're going to let everyone out of prison who are not, who's not um, violent, then all the guys who have been caught up in corruption in South Africa are also going to be let free if they ever get to prison. Well, my honest opinion, I think they should have kept him in jail because there's enough space for him there. They will keep it. There's a special room for him where they can keep him. If you look at, at, at other people, like um, when this, you see you still standing by the shop, they want to put you away forever, maybe for a bread or a ton of baked beans. Then they want to put you away for that. But now that guy can, uh, can, can, can come away with a lot of things and he's, and he's, he's going to get a free um, ticket out. Is that right?